Hello, students. So uh, I am here to solve a question from NET June 2024. And the question is on the vector field. And those who have done uh, the CSIR NET course with me, they know that we discuss a lot uh, in vector calculus, the curl divergence, and uh, the related properties. But this question was too simple. Here, magnetic field is already given. I mean, any field is given, okay? A vector field is given. And the vector field is in the direction R cap. And then they talk about this uh, vector field V. So this vector field V is result of del cross V where B is some vector field, okay? So we will have to calculate this del cross B, then we can answer this question. They are calling this V, the curl of B as vorticity, okay? Because the curl is related to the vortex. So is this V is a zero or it is a parallel vector to the field, that means parallel to R cap or the angle between V and vector field depends on X, Y, Z or vorticity is perpendicular to the vector field everywhere. Okay, that means this curl is perpendicular to the R. All right. So if you just go by very simple calculation that B is equal to K, X, Y, Z, R cap. And V is given by del cross B. Okay. So this will be, just write the curl. It will be 1 by R square sine theta. And the determinant R cap, R theta cap. R sin theta phi cap and then del by del r, del by del theta, del by del phi and r cap coefficient is k x y z and then 0 0. This we have to calculate. Okay. So you know in spherical polar coordinate x will become r sin theta cos phi y will become r sin theta sin phi and z will become r cos theta okay so that means uh, this x will be function of r theta phi y will be function of r theta phi and z will be function of r and theta so essentially this will be function of r theta and phi this is the meaning okay now if you calculate this you see R cap will become 0 minus 0. So R cap will not survive. Obviously, curl of this vector which is in the R cap direction will not survive. And then minus, outside this will be a 1 upon R square sin theta. And minus R theta cap. And then you will have this which is 0 minus you will get something here okay that can be calculated and then plus r sin theta uh, phi cap here you will get 0 minus again because this is also function of theta you will get something so that means your answer will be something like a1 theta cap plus a2 phi cap it will be function of some theta cap and phi cap which is obviously perpendicular to r cap so because you know all three vectors are unit vectors of spherical polar coordinate they are mutually perpendicular so this theta cap and phi cap will be perpendicular to r so if i check the option this vector v will be perpendicular to the vector field everywhere because r cap is always so whatever are the values of a1 and a2 which will depend on r theta and phi 
this will be always perpendicular to the r cap so in this case this option 4 is the correct option okay thank you so much